Previously on Final Fantasy VII. I'm not getting- I'm not gonna get lost in this dungeon. Oh, this is how you get this chest. Guards up. Wait, can I keep going up? Oh, I see. Is this how you get to the very top? Oh my fucking god, it's a Tonberry. Oh no, I'm leaving. No, no. I- you're cute, I love you, but just no. Just- just get away from me, you adorable menace. Please, game. Let me leave. Oh god, fuck it. No! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god, I didn't know Todd Berries were in this dungeon. Oh, that's a game changer. And now... Hello, you beautiful magical creatures. Necromantic Water here, and thank you for joining my blind Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we started our descent into the Norman Cave, and this time, well, I'm gonna continue, and hopefully we get done with the cave. Another forked road. The hell did we come from? Okay, so I guess we, we go down. Yes, you're coming with me, you fools. Don't even. Oh, thank God. I guess this is the down path. Or not. Okay, that's the path we came from. That didn't. Okay, so that would be the exhaust damage and weak comet. Kinda sad, not gonna lie. Okay, so this is the dad path, I think. Yes. Yeah. I'm assuming. A remix. Refused. Because I didn't, <laughs> didn't. Not necessarily. Oh, how do I get to that other chest? So, since I didn't explain it last time and my reaction for Tonberries, part of the reason they're so terrifying is because they have a skill, an elixir, that in most of the games they're in, it breaks the damage cap and what it is, is it is an attack based on how many enemies you have killed throughout the entire game. And since they just like slowly walk at you very menacingly, when they actually get up close to you and do that attack, it is just like fucking scary to go from like, let's say your max HP is like 4,000 and then like suddenly the thing just did 90,000 to you. It's just oof. So scary. But damn, Todd Rays are so adorable, and I really wish I had a plushie for them. Also, hell, if me being like... Okay, I didn't mean to go for this, but... Neat. Is that a Tyria just floating over there? Also, as I was fixed to say, with my branding... With, oh my god, not really my branding, just like the me memes of the channel so far, is me being a necromancer. I'm surprised I don't use a Tonberry as one of my mascots. Really? Phoenix down? Okay, get out of here. I'm sad. That the ultimate did like no damage. Did you like stop? I was hoping Light Wind would have worked, but okay. See, you just had to have counterattacked right there. I really should put this in, in a slot so it can XP. A vaccine? Okay, just so I can cure three. Magic counter materia. Wait. 
Counters with paired magic or summon. So what you're saying is... If I, I want to pair this with Bahamut Zero, and I'm trying to figure out how to exactly do that. I have to sacrifice some magic stats. Oh well. I'm not even using those spells anyway. But the, the stats, though. deal of potential later, but <laughs> things are gonna get really crazy, I guess, if Cloud gets hit by It's- yeah, like I said, it's probably gonna be the- when I get hit, it's only gonna use it for how many times I have the summon leveled up. X potion handy. So many good items- Also, I love how I picked, like, the longest summon for it, too. What's this? No, no. No. <laughs> no. Game. Game. Let me have it. Stop making me jump. Just let me have this fucking thing. Mega all? That's actually kind of interesting that I, you have to grab it mid jump. What does Mega all do? All effect on every action. Oh, hello. Okay, well, you mostly summons. I don't think it all works on that. Don't need all that. That, that auto has all. That's kind of neat. You know, I've yet to actually use Typhon on a normal enemy instead of, like, an enemy that was resisted earlier. <clears throat> okay, this just looks, this looks cool and ominous. Hey, you! You were thinking about leaving me? I would never. So this is the center of the planet? Well, this would have probably been a really good spot to draw that save point. Cloud, look! Okay. Hey there, Cloud. Hey, Cloud, I found this! Hold on to this. Okay. What? By the way, if you didn't, you find something? Oh, right. Here, Cloud. Damn! You guys found some cool shit! But I'm the one who found it, so you better give it back to me when you're done with it. Okay, I'll give you the empty bottle of a me Mega Elixir. We finally made it. Well, I suppose this is the end. So. I, I really have nothing else to do. And this, this, this is gonna be. I feel like this is right before the final battle too. So this is gonna be a, a lot of shit. Stop saying things like a wimp. Can't you see? Say move out or something. Move out. Hell yeah. What? Look at the number. 
We're coming in out of full force. Cloud, you go first. Wait, oh, Cloud, you go first. Okay, I'm going alone. No, no. Shut up! It won't do us no good with everyone back here. That's right. You take two of us with you and go first. Okay. Is this like a practice run for the final battle? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, a major practice run. I'm fine with that. It'll probably be more fun meeting Sephiroth down there. <laughs> hmm. This might be fun to pass time. Damn, Vincent, did you just say something's gonna be fun? Get out of here. You're not the Vincent I know and love. They're coming. They're already on the floor above us, next to us. Cloud, hurry up. Make up your mind. Okay. My mind has already been made up for a while. All of you. Later. Yeah, later. I didn't even move. This is probably automatic, the, of my 9,999 damage. And I do get to control. I was just unlucky as hell that I got into a battle immediately after landing. Saw the void for a second there. Oh, you! I've seen you. I've heard about you. Friend told me if I see this thing, I, I should, I should mega elixir it, and I get a fancy prize. Not mega elixir. I should just elixir it, and I get a fancy prize. Let's see if this. Hopefully, this doesn't kill my team. If it. Oh, that cure two was so fucking weak. Hello? I really hope there's nothing bad happens from me doing this, because, like, I don't want to go back to the save point, honestly. Oh, thank god, that did... That didn't kill. Thank you, Mighty Guard. You were the best. God, Mighty Guard is 100%. I know I've mentioned this already, but it is 100% MVP of the series. But, anyway. Big damage to all opponents, and ignores defense. Oh, it would not have mattered. Then, if it ignores defense, the Mighty Guard would not have mattered. Yeah, the friend who told me to be on the lookout for that creature and use an elixir on it, he also mentioned that apparently the game is bugged and it'll only use that Pandora's box once per save file somehow. So that's neat. Where are we? What? It's Genova! It's coming! What the hell did you do to the battle theme? No, no, I kinda like this. That Mega All even gave me the Slash All Materia, even though, like, me, that's cool as hell. I mean, I did say give all to all properties, but I didn't think it would affect my physical attack as well.
here. That's ultimate damage. I mean, other segments are down, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, oh no. I know what countdowns beat. That's not good. We're, we're bringing up the big gun. <laughs> okay, well, you can use this. I don't know what the countdown means, but I've played enough RPGs when a boss starts doing a countdown, it is always something you don't want to be hit by. Or else you're going to take a, a lot of damage. There we go. Don't even care what its countdown was gonna do. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of experience. No money! Excuse me? Mm. How rude. It didn't give me no money. What kind of boss don't give me no money? Even, well... Probably... At the point of no return, so I guess that makes sense. Huh. That can't be good. We just... Light. Light? Is this... Is this the Light of Holy? It's possible? Oh, damn, man. Barrett? What's everyone doing? Wait, what? So everyone's together again? Uh-oh. I love how everybody looks so concerned, and then this is just like, mm, yeah, so this is just a normal day to me. You bastard getting to fly all the time. Sephiroth! Ugh, so this is, so this is Sephiroth's power. My body! I can't control my body! Again, Vincent does not look like he gives a damn. My front, my front legs, my hind legs, my tail is about to rip off. This is definitely no good. He's out of our league. I know. I don't know if I can do it. Go on. Cloud. Cloud. Ugh. There. It's there. Cloud. Holy. It's in there. Holy is shining. Eris's prayer is shining. Holy. Eris. It's not over yet. This isn't how it ends. God, that's a stuff. That is a big level difference between them and the main squad. Could you at least like? F Never mind. <laughs> I was just to say, can you at least like fully heal us before we like go to? I'm assuming the final boss. I have all these items. I guess I'll just turn that off. The timer off since this is clearly. Oops. Oh, I have to make two groups. Oh no, please tell me. Oh no. Uh, oh, this is not going to be good. I don't have enough material to give all of them.
Huh. I guess since I don't really have enough material to give all of them, I guess I can give them like this this stuff. You could also have a tough ring. Can I just... I'll just give you a Zedrich as well. Sure, I don't really know what to give you guys because I don't have shit. right back to get all this done. Alrighty, I think I'm done, and hopefully I don't actually have to use Team 2, because if I do, I'm fucked! Because I don't have anything good to give them. Hopefully Team 1 can just do good. Well, Kate Sif just got yeeted away, and so did Yuffie. No way, we're gonna lose. I'm going to see this through to the end. Our future and for that of the planet. I understand now, Grandpa. That is my mission. I won't let the live stream or the planet wither away. Not only heirs. Holy is the prayer of Avalanche, of Marlene, and Dine, and everyone on the planet. Heirs' memories, our memories. We'll come to tell you back our memories. Come, planet, show us your answer. And Sephiroth to slow that to setting everything is mm, I can't even freaking read. I really hope I don't have to do use both teams. Cause I know in like Final Fantasy Six you have to use like pretty much all the like all three of your teams and the Okay. I didn't get to read all of that, but okay. Oh, you could heal for a big number. Anyway, I know in Final Fantasy VI you have to use like all the teams for the final boss, and also in Octopath Traveler if you don't, if you go for the super hidden boss, you have to fight all, you have to use both teams. It's really convenient. That portion B is dead. Not really. They're 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 strong enough. They can handle it. I mean, we can handle it. I don't want to switch because. I have no idea how I'm gonna handle a fight if I do. <laughs> Multi target all the way, hell yeah. So glad I got that. No, we're not worried about that. <laughs> Don't make me switch game. So we have to attack the head. This song is interesting. 
could you stop? Multi-target, that's understandable. I'm not afraid of you respawning things. Oh no, my 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 shields are about to go away though. I am afraid of that though. tell all the long animations, the fights. Okay, what are we waiting for? No. Don't make me switch, Gabe. Don't make it to where I have to in order to progress the fight. I really hope I'm not doing anything wrong, because if I am, it's... that sucks. doing something wrong because I probably have to get that fine I will check on the other team and probably get my ass kicked because they're like <clears throat> hella under leveled uh. <sighs> oh my god my throat Switch to the other team, he immediately starts bringing out the. <laughs> oh. I guess I can attack the core now. No, we're, we're going back to the others. We're going back to the main squad. I'm not doing anything wrong in this fight, it's gonna make this take like an eternity. Be fine as long as we don't interact with them. <laughs> oh my god, you can actually do something else besides healing yourself? Alrighty, I am back. 
I think it out. Figured out something about this fight. There's a lot of crazy shenanigans that can happen in this fight, depending on the... a shit ton of factors. I barely looked it up to see if I was doing something wrong. And it really didn't matter anyway, because it looks like I beat him anyway. I guess the core doesn't need to be vulnerable? I suppose you can kill him- I was I was mainly looking it up to see if, like, how to get the core vulnerable, because I was expecting that's what I was doing wrong, but... Apparently I didn't even need to do that, because I managed to kill him before that happened. Although now the game is like pitch black, and that scares me? Okay, good. The game actually picked up to what happened. I thought, like, the pitch black screen was... Ah, the big song that everybody knows and loves from this game. Oh, you do not have multiple parts, okay. <gasps> no, you fool, you have- you're not allowed to do that. It's a shame I don't have DC- <laughs> God damn it. The one time I don't have the- the no barrier skills. The, the boss actually uses the barrier skills. That's funny. Thanks, Sephiroth. You're so nice. Giving me a blue magic spell. One time I don't have destruct. I <laughs> That's funny, I've gone the entire game without any like except for like one enemy using the wall skills, and then like the one time I don't have it fucking equipped, the enemy uses the wall. Oh fuck, hello. That's that's just god tier. You know what? I have a thing that ignores defenses. Let me just <laughs> let me go extra as hell and just spam three Pandora boxes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. You wanna have defense? I say no to that. <laughs> Along with my long rage, but like <laughs> this is gonna take for fucking ever. <laughs> I do know. Just because it's like been thing that you just see in video game history. I do know that Severoth has an attack that takes like a good minute or two to actually use. Oh damn, even ignoring defenses that didn't do that much. I will kill you with question marks! Because nothing is scarier than question marks. Sid, smack the hell out of him. Oh, oh, here we go. Here's the attack that's gonna take like a minute or two. And he can do it multiple times in the battle, so hopefully he does it. I'm just gonna sit here, listen to the music. I mean, that's not really that big of a deal. Pluto, Pluto's on a planet no more. Oh no, not Saturn! Oh no, he destroyed Saturn. How rude. Not Zeus. I mean, I'm, I'm down for this, because I don't really care for either Jupiter or Zeus. 
Damn, there goes so many planets. You know, Sephiroth, if you have an attack that could literally call something from a completely different universe, destroy the planets, and then, like, make the sun go supernova to destroy the rest of the planets, like... I feel like he could- you didn't need to summon a summon meteor to kill people. <laughs> God, I love RP- God, I love RPGs for stupid shit like this. Just this entire attack. Everything about it is amazing and stupid. More so amazing. And I actually don't have barrier anymore, so this is probably gonna kill. <gasps> oh! Oh my sweet Jesus. Please, game, for the love of God. This is actually a good time for a Mega Elixir. Please, for the love of God, let whoever just used that Mega Elixir use it. Okay, I know I'm in the final boss, but shit like that is why Mega Elixirs and Elixirs are in the too good to use club, because you never know when your entire team is just going to get, like, insta-killed. Oh my god, that supernova was scary. This is why I'm Shit like this is why Mighty Guard is useful. <laughs> and he conveniently ran out of he conveniently ran out of Mighty Guard as he was doing his attack. That's just not good. Can I have my turn, please, so I can use Mighty Guard? Thank you. Oh, we haven't actually used Life 2 in the middle of the battle. <sighs> okay, now let's get this back into my favor. Oh, you bastard. You... Bastard. <laughs> okay, okay, you wanna play that game? I will have a character on standby just to, just to use Mighty Guard. Don't, don't even... Ultima, why are you doing, like, no damage? Flare is doing more damage to you, that never happened before. Oh, never mind. I didn't need a character on standby to cast but Mighty Guard faster. D shell my stuff. <laughs> got rid of my barriers. He destroyed the universe and he got rid of my barriers. How rude. More so about destroying my barriers than, you know, destroying the universe. Yes, disintegrates like the final boss god you are. I honestly didn't expect to beat the final boss today. Bye, Sephiroth. It's nice knowing you. I mean, you were pretty cool, what non sexy, but like you were a bad person and needed to get your what kicked. Okay, yeah, got in the truth, man. Yay. <sighs> that was... That was a pretty good fire boss. This is all we could do. Wait, what about Holy? What about what's gonna happen to the planet? That I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? You're right. We've done all we could, that's true. We even were forced to use a Mega Elixir, which is like the ultimate sign that whatever you're fighting in an RPG is no it knows what it's doing. It's when you actually have to use a Mega Elixir. Or item equivalent. Alright everybody, let's go. We did our best. That's it. Let's go home proud. Okay, most of us don't have homes, Cloud. What happened? I feel it. What? He's 
Still here. Still? Cloud? He's laughing. Oh. Cloud! Going into a wormhole. We're going into another universe. Potentially, depending on if that's a true fact or not. But the, you know, I like the idea that wormholes are universe travel. Oh, this looks. Oh, this is a crunchy-looking PS1 video. <laughs> It's not as bad as like Tekken 1 and 2 videos, but like this background is crunchy. Oh, my limit break is charging. It's a shame I don't have Omni Slash. Then I could do the cool thing that everybody does and just, just, just Omni Slashes him. But at the same time. Oh, I actually don't get the option. Never oh, never mind. I didn't know it just gives me Omni Slash for this. I was just going to be like, all right, I can't use the cool thing everybody else does and kill him in this phase. I'll, I'll just use my trusty poison spell, but I didn't even get to use that. That's sad. At least we get to see Omni Slash. We got to see all about one of Cloud's little breaks, because I just never unlocked the last one. Take that, you fool. Beautiful blue-eyed bastard. Oh shit, is that, is that blood in my Final Fantasy? I mean, that, I say as there was already blood in this game. There could only be one beautiful blue-eyed person here. And that is me! Look at how fabulous I am! Look at all this beautiful live stream. It could be used as L'Oreal. It was. I haven't made jokes like that in forever since like part five, I think. Ah, oh, yes. Look at all of the potential L'Oreal I could be using. My hair could be spiky for all eternity. Mm, yes. Live stream. You can. Okay, well, I guess she's dying with you, but I was gonna say you can grab her hand. Yes. Don't, don't let Tifa down. I think I'm beginning to understand. What? The answer from the planet. The promised land. I, was... I think we can meet her there. Now is not the time to be talking about random shit. You need to be focusing on getting your stuff, you and her, up. Good god. Take some hella good strength right there. Just like, one arm pull yourself and somebody else up. Damn, Cloud. Hey, where is everybody? You're all safe. They all seem to be safe too. But now what's going on? Now what are we going to do? My God, Nautiki! Even in the CGI cutscene, you're bright as hell. Good luck to family now. Sid lost a cigarette. Sid without a cigarette is just like nothing. He's just a nobody. No, our high wind! Our 
pilot- wait, why did it fall? Did our pilot just decide to nose bomb and come save us? High wind, it has taken severe damage. No. Shit! Damn, this plane had another. This vehicle had another transformation? Damn, this high wind is cool. You're like just a little bit late. This thing has destroyed a magic shit ton of Midgar, killing a lot of people. But I guess better late than never. happen to Midgo. We can't let that happen. I mean, we, what do you expect us to do? I had everybody take refugee in the slums. No. Oh. But the way things are now... It is too late for Holy. Yeah. Meteor is approaching the planet. It is? It's kind of already on the planet. Holy is having the opposite of a planet. Forget to Medgar. We gotta worry about the planet. I mean, like, even if we do worry about the planet, what the hell can we do? What's that? It's the live stream. Doing what they've said it's supposed to do, protecting the planet.
long it must have taken him to an animate all of this stuff for early PS1. I did not expect the credits to immediately start after that. Like, I was kind of expecting Meteor to be like, completely destroyed and we'd see the aftermath after that, not just credits immediately. Alright, well, I I will say I'm very surprised at this game. Like, I, as I said in the first part, I originally started the series mainly because I wanted to see why, uh, why everyone would would always talk about this game and why it's so important it got a remake and also like because I just never cared for it because everybody in the dog would only talk about this game and mentioning Eris as deaf and it got really infuriating to the point where I just hated the game uh, so I decided to play it to see if if my opinions would change and I will say I don't hate the game anymore I can see why it's a really good game personally I still prefer Six, because it's like, that was my, my first RPG I ever played. Uh, I just love the, everything about ten, and like when I did nine for the channel, I fell in love with everything in that game, like characters, the world, the mechanics, just everything. This game was honestly really fun to play, and like it was fun doing voices and stuff, and it was kind of neat to see a whole bunch of stuff that people never really talk about, like. When people talk about this game, like I said, they always mention, like, Eris is deaf, or they mention, like, Cloud being, like, extremely edgy, which, kind of not really. Like, yeah, in the beginning, he's kind of like an edge boy, but, like, near the middle of the game, like, not even middle of the game, like, probably, like, actually, not even know when exactly. Uh, he's, like, there's stuck a lot of moments where he's, like, super goofy and stuff. It's kind of cool. Eh, uh, I, I liked... Pretty much all the characters, even though like I primarily used Sid and Nanaki throughout the entire game, I did like all the characters. They felt well written and they were had their own little personalities. And despite like Vincent and Yuffie not really doing much because they're optional, like they still were fun characters too. And funny enough, even though they're optional, I noticed Yuffie was talking way more about like big plot points where every character is together than anything but like Vincent like he just ba barely talked it just felt like he they, they didn't give him like, any reason to do anything and I kind of hope in the remake they actually fix that because since they're already from what I've heard doing like basically an alternate universe timeline bullshit thing they could totally make it to where Vincent's more of a talkative character as well as blasted the hell out of things with God in beautiful 3D. <laughs> also, also, some of the miscellaneous stuff in this game is just so, so shocking and ridiculous. Like, uh, and kind of obtuse. Like, for instance, getting the contained materia. I would, if my friend had not have told me about like getting that specific green and giving it to the chocobo. That's all he told me. He didn't tell me like I needed to pet the chocobo in a specific way. I just like scratched behind the ear because I was like, it's, if it's like a cat, then yeah, scratch behind the ears. That's what, that's what happened. But, like my god, getting that materia and then like during the huge materia quest, I'm not going to call it a side quest. That was kind of that was a big plot point. Uh, getting like freaking Ultima from just like a random child being like, hey, I found this. You could have it. It's a shiny rock. Like and that shit was super shocking and super amazing and I I do have oh god I went, I, running out of I have, shit, my chair's being really bad I had like a lot of stuff I wanted to say throughout this game and I, I lost my notes because I'm slowly taking notes about like what I wanted to say during the final credits I lost them at some point so now I can't remember like half of like the positive I wanted to say and like I will say first like some negative but like I'm 
not that I'm mad about this game. In fact, because it's an older game, there is a lot of jank in this game. Like, just trying to move in certain rooms of camera angles, like, it, you have to pretty much fight, like, your controller or D-pad to just, like, move in the direction you want. There's, like, some of the jumping puzzles and whatnot is kind of hella jank. Like, when we were climbing up uh, Wall Market to get on that bar, oh my god, that was a pain in the ass. That was just so jank. Because it wasn't even just, like, getting the right timing. It was also, you had to be, like, in the, a very specific spot that looked exactly like any other spot in the, the little area. So, like, as much as, like, there is jank in this game, like, I, I'm letting it slide because it is an older game and that is to be expected. But, despite this being an older game, Dave, this was... I don't know already said this, this was really good. I can see why it is some people's favorites. Mainly, like, because probably, because it, since it introduced a lot of people to RPGs, that's most likely why it's people's favorites. Like, that's kind of why 6 is mine. But, yeah... I'm just starting to go in circles now. I'm gonna just be quiet and let the credits roll. And I'll come back in case there's something that... Like, more dialogue that happens. Five hundred years later. Oh, okay. So we don't even get to see like everybody gets to live happy, go like ha everybody living happy lives. It's just five hundred years later. Okay. Oh, the Cosmo Canyon theme. Hell yeah. <gasps> Nanak, he found some people. He found he found a woman. He has little tiny Nanakies. Hell yeah. That's so cute. Damn, if, four, if I'm being like 40-something is like the age of 16 to human years, I wonder how old he would be 500 years later. Unless that's not Nanaki, that's like second generation. <sighs> Hell yeah. Oh look, nature's overcome Midgar. Because nature always wins, and nature versus technology, it just takes a long time. Oh, that's a... It's a really pretty shot. Fire Fantasy 7! Stay fabulous, you beautiful people, and I hope you will join me in whatever the next project is for the channel.